Welcome hoarders. Today we're going to be playing some more GTA 5 and we'll be testing the Yugo Classic or Yuga. Not exactly sure. It has an A, but it might be said a different way, so stop yelling at me. Okay. But we are going to be testing this turd. Yes, I bought it. Yes, I maxed it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's. I know it's a van, but I'd have to say this is the best looking van in the game, next to the surfer. I don't know, I just like classic cars and there's something about the body style of this that I like. I have had it for a couple weeks now because I like to own the cars a little bit before I start saying that I know stuff about them if I haven't driven them. Obviously. This car is slow. Um, I don't think it's quite as fast as the uh, newer version of this. I'm assuming on both tests it's going to come right behind the regular Yuga. Because, I don't know, it's just so, like, laggy and, like, speed. Like, watch us take off. That's actually, I've seen worse. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but yet I was pointing downhill and this is pretty heavy. Um, but we're gonna do like normal, take it on the regular test track, do a lap, and then do track, track. And since this is like an SUV van, like that nature, I'm probably going to take it on the dirt track, too. Um, I might, might not. But, I don't know, you can tell, like, the... It has quite a bit of understeer. If you look while I take these turns. It doesn't turn sharp, either. Yeah, they turn a lot sharper when you're, like, barely moving. But, uh, let's get into it. Alright. Let's see what we can get with this bad boy. I'm gonna say, like, 9th or 10th. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I ever drove this at first. Not bad. It looks like a different style than what I've seen on a lot of cars. I guess you can't really say that their brakes are shitty. It's just how heavy this is. Because the era that this would have been made, this is full, like one big giant piece of steel. Yeah, there's something about this that, I don't know, it seems like it has an iconic look to it. I like this one a lot better than the regular Yuga. That's, I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign that I had to slow down around that. It could be because we're going too fast, which I highly doubt it, or because of the bad steering. I'm going to say bad steering. I don't know why I keep looking back. 
straddling the line when we get down here. Because of how bad steering is. See? Okay, let's see where we got. Oh my god, we came in first. Three minutes and 1.116 seconds. I believe that is the longest time we ever had. But let's make sure by going over the leaderboard. I wish I could say that I'm surprised that the Yuga Classic came in last at 3 minutes and 1.639 seconds. But it kind of makes sense that it was slower than the newer version of the Yuga because... Through the years, cars tend to be made to go faster with bigger engines and weight reduction because, you know, they don't want you to use a lot of metal on cars nowadays. But now we can go over and see what we can get on the dirt track. Well, we're going to be doing the dirt track. I'm really only doing this video because I just... Like what I was doing earlier, I got mad. Uh, me and my friend recently completed a heist, so then I waited and then I started doing the setups for the final heist, so me and him could play it again. And what happened was uh, I got three randoms to help me do setups, and one of them left in the middle of the very first setup and I lost my heist. So Rockstar, if you're watching this, please fix that because at this point, as many times as that's happened to me, I've lost well over a million five hundred thousand on it because I kept paying for the heist and then I'd lose it. And uh, it doesn't that doesn't bother me nearly as much as the waiting because it thinks you finished a heist that you didn't actually finish. And, like, how can it take a heist away that you didn't even start to begin with? It says it's been recently completed and I didn't even get past the first setup. And then to have like an hour wait until you can even start doing setups again that's ridiculous on that one because it takes you more than an hour to get all the setups done sorry i'm going on a rant I'm a little angry so i figure well since i keep losing money my fault do a race maybe earth This is the second try of this vehicle. Last time I messed up here. But you have to take that wide.
that's not gonna drastically change the results. I know this thing's not gonna get far up there. Actually, it will get far up there because there's like no vehicles I tested on here yet. I should have probably done the bikes and motorcycle and stuff. If I have a bike that's made for dirt, I would use it. Like a dirt bike or trail bike. Okay, we gotta start selling. Almost four minutes, three minutes, 59.345 seconds. That almost sounds like a made up number. Okay, let's see the results and then we'll do the uh, drag track. Still, I'm not surprised that the Yuga Classic came in last, especially since there's only three that are on here, but it only. It was like a minute behind what the other vehicles were. A minute and nine seconds from the uh, Vapid Contender, but that's a pretty good vehicle. So I guess you really can't blame that. That has so much more um, clearance than what the Yuga Classic does, but on that track, it's more on road than it is like straight off road because I just designed the track that way but hopefully maybe we could get at least second to last on the drag track okay we might lose this race There's people passing us on bicycles and women pushing baby strollers Like I tell my friends, sometimes I shouldn't be allowed to talk. That exhausts me. <laughs> oh, did you guys ever see, like, post down in the comments, do you ever see those uh, vehicles with, like, treads on them? That is something that they should add to GTA for, like, the winter DLC. That'd be awesome. Like, I'll put a picture up right now. Seriously, if they added this vehicle in the game or a vehicle like this with treads or tracks, that would be extremely cool. I might actually do a video later today or tomorrow of a top 10 list of vehicles that they should add for winter like for Christmas on the game maybe this year maybe next year just out of nowhere okay the time was 34.639 seconds you have to admit if they added a vehicle like that that would be one of the most fun things that you could play with in an open lobby Okay, besides that, let's go check and see what we got. Woohoo, we finally found a vehicle that's the worst in the game so far. Um, I'm assuming that the uh, when I test the Volkswagen bus, that'll probably get one below the Yuga Classic, because it came in at 34.639 seconds, which is, in a drag race, two seconds going that distance is a very long time but ooh, guess we'll have to leave it at that because i don't think it's ever going to go faster than what it just did i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch one of my previous next and related videos and i'll see you in the next episode